Okay, we'll let the crew uh, give the french fries the official taste test while we turn to pan frying. If I recall correctly, it's more fat, less heat than sautéing. That's right. right. That's right. And then we're going to uh, pan fry some red snapper in yellow cornmeal. Now, why cornmeal? Why do you pick that over flour or something? Uh, for the flavor of the corn. And the corn is delicious. Uh, uh, delicious flavor with certain fish. And why dredge it in anything? Why do you need to do that when you pan fry? Uh, because it's going to cook for a long time and it would just probably shrivel up and kind of burn up. So it needs some coating to protect it. Uh -huh. You know, because we're cooking it for longer and we're usually cooking bigger pieces of uh, fish or meat when we pan fry. Okay. So we'll dredge this in the yellow cornmeal. And dredge is just a fancy name for... For dipping or uh, coating, let's okay. say. And we'll need some oil to do this. Okay. What kind of oil would you like? Uh, peanut oil, please. Why peanut oil? I like uh, peanut oil because it has a very clean flavor, and it, and it also has a neutral flavor that works very well. It doesn't taste like peanuts. I won't taste it peanuts. It doesn't taste <laughs> strong of peanuts. Maybe just the slightest, slightest hint. Wow, I have some oil. And uh, for pan frying, usually you're talking at least a quarter inch of fat in the bottom of the pan. Another wonderful, low-calorie, great-tasting dish. Well, it doesn't have to be fattening because most of that oil should stay in the pan. I like that. What are you doing? Oh, I was just checking to see if, uh, if the oil was hot enough, and it is. With fresh parsley? Yeah, well, it just happened to be have it handy, but it, it is delicious to eat fried parsley, too. Okay, so it sizzled. That told you it was so, hot. So well, the pan is nice and hot, and the oil's hot, and I'm going to put this in the skin side down first. Why? Uh, so I can really crisp up that skin side, and, and the, the side with the skin takes a little more cooking, so we're going to start it there. Mmm, smells great. Just give it a little shake to make sure that it's how much, how it much, hasn't stuck to the pan. Sorry, how much time on the side? About three minutes on this side, and maybe two on the, two to finish it off on the other side. This fish just needs a little bit longer. How about that piece? Is that a little thinner? Good. This piece is a little smaller, and I would venture to say this piece is done. Okay. And you can, again, you can check it. Just Not pick nice. a nice spot and check it, and you can see that's cooked all the way through. And uh, okay. all you want to do, all you want to do with this seafood is get it cooked through. Just barely, because a piece like that is going to keep cooking for another minute, too. Ah, that's good to remember. Off. Like with meats. Well, just like with meats. Ooh, that mm -hmm. looks so good. That is beautiful. Why don't I just cut this so that you can see what it looks like when it is done. See that fish is moist and it's got the white center and a nice dry coating on the outside. And it, as we talked about earlier, we did leave all the oil in the pan. 